today we are going to continue the series on how to create a design video intro. In the first two episodes, we have talked about the concept of making the intro, and also shown how to make a push and pull transition intro effect in the small labels. If you haven't watched that yet, click on the top right corner to watch it first. And today we are going to dive into the third episode, and that is how to create a split screen layout effect, like what you see here in the screen. So if you are interested in this topic, keep watching. First, start the software. Find the project we have saved last time. Double click to open it. Then, import all the video clips. Drag this footage into the overlay track. We use the same color mentioned before to do the color matching. Click on the color icon to enter the color editor. On the left side of the interface, there you can see a bunch of filter presets to work with. Find a B and W filter. Click on it to turn the picture to black and white with one click. On top of that, I want to also make the image darker and blacker. So we go to the custom area, lower exposure value, and click apply to return to the main interface. Next. We use the shortcut keys Ctrl C and Ctrl V to place the same footage on overlay track 1. Then, we click on the original video. Find the crop icon in the toolbar. Drag the mouse to crop out the top half of the screen. Click on Apply. Then, click on the copied video. Again, go to the crop panel. Drag the mouse to crop out the bottom half of the image. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Finally, use the Show or High Layer Rectangle at the bottom of the preview window to adjust the size and the position of the two videos respectively. Until you get this effect, well, you are done. In addition, you can also use the same adding method to crop a video screen into three vertical screens to create this effect. The picture-in-picture -picture effect is very easy to achieve in VideoPro Vlogger. Just drag the clip into the overlay track. Click Show or Hide Layer Rectangle to adjust its size and position. But it is very important to know that in this intro, we need to have the concept to match your image with the thing. So I'll use a color icon to turn the screen to green. And then add screen blend mode to it in the inspector, so that it could blend with the background better. Besides that, find the rag effect in the effect library. Drag it to the effect track. After putting these edits together, the whole picture-in-picture -picture effect will come out much better. Now, let's see how to achieve this effect. Drag the video to the overlay track. First, click on Crop to crop to the right size in the Crop panel. Click Apply to enter to the main interface. Use the shortcut keys Ctrl C and Ctrl V to create two other similar clips. Then, drag them to overlay track 1 and overlay track 2 respectively. And next, go to the preview window 
and adjust the position of the three videos in turn to create a staggered overlay effect. Next, let's edit the three images separately to give them more design looks. First, click on the video on the overlay track 2. Click on the color icon to enter the color editor. Here, select the BMW filter to turn it to black and white. Apply the adjustment. Then, click on the video in the overlay track 1. Again, click on the color icon. Lower the temperature and the tint values. Scroll down and find the HSL and drag the hue value towards the green side. Then, adjust the saturation. Now we have turned the video to green. Finally, let's add the effect for the video at the bottom. Go to the effects in the top left. Find the noise effect. Drag it to the effect track and align it with the screen image. I want it to be applied only on the bottom video, which is the video on the overlay track. So what we need to do now is to uncheck the cameras in the inspector. And then enable this one. The effect is finished. And don't forget to adjust the timing of the last three videos to ensure they appear in sequence. It's preview to see the effect. Isn't it great? Alright, that is for today's video. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.